Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Topcoat. Now in a previous episode, we showed you how to get the most out of your UTV by getting the ECU turned up and getting a little performance out of it. And Terry is here from Gilliman Innovations once again. Now Terry, let's recap a little bit about the ECU. Folks are sending this into you. What kind of things are you doing to help them soup up their UTV? Yeah, when they uh, send the ECU to us, um, we have a lot of different things we do. Uh, we do everything from basic fixing some misfire code issues that people have to increasing the performance, getting rid of seatbelt limiters, speed limiters, torque limiters. So the machine is putting out full potential of what it's capable of. And so that is also changing the profile a little bit. The engine's running at different RPM and it's making more power. So yep. you're going to need to make some changes with the clutch. On this model, this is a Ranger 1000 stock. The clutching runs at low 6,000 RPM range, 6 to 6,300 RPM. After the tune, peak power is in the mid 7,000 RPM range, so it's critical to get the clutching set up right. I have a couple examples here of clutch kits. This is our adjustable clutch kit for the Ranger 1000. This gives adjustability, so if you make a tire change, elevation change, uh, you can actually change the RPM profile or how much weight is on that flyweight so it stays where it needs to be. We have a solid weight clutch kit also. This kit we set up for your base setup that you tell us, your tire size, the machine, if it's a crew cab or a regular cab, and you basically just throw this kit in, but you don't have adjustability with this kit. So I'm gonna show you today, this is our clutch weight, it's adjustable. This machine is gonna take three weights in the first two holes, these are magnetic weights. Basically what you end up doing is you just slide these in here and they just snap right into place. These are earth magnets, they, they don't come out. So you put these weights in and the springs, you're all set. And you know, based on the machine and the setup, what they're gonna need as far as weights go. Yep, yep, we give you what you need. Yep. And it's pretty delicate, because too much weight, that's gonna advance that too quickly, and you're gonna bog down. It's like sh shifting right from first into fourth gear. Exactly, yeah, yeah. This gets it right on where it needs to be so you can get maximum performance. And here. you guys have great instructions on how to install the kit. Yes. Even John can understand it, and he's over there getting ready to put it in now. It's so easy, John can do it. Man, I could rebuild this whole motor, but at the risk of getting my hands dirty, nah, I let Terry handle it, why not? It was pretty simple. He just went around the whole clutch cover. There's little eight millimeter bolts. Got all the eight millimeter bolts as he went around the cover and plucked those off, no problem. Worked the cover out. Once he got the cover out, then he went to the secondary clutch and loosened it up a little bit. Once that secondary clutch was loose, went ahead and slipped the belt off so he can get to the actual drive itself. Then we moved on to the primary clutch. Took the primary clutch off, the front cover of the primary clutch, and behind that was the spring. Voila, there it was. And for the sake of time, we went ahead and put in two of the weights. Terry, you're working on the third one, man. Walk us through the process. Yeah, well, I just uh, got the pin out on this last weight here, and I can show you a little bit of the difference here on these weights. This is a factory weight. It's 114 grams. It's a pretty straight profile. As you can see, our clutch weight is uh, quite a bit different. It's a lighter weight, but it has more of an arc to the profile, which makes the weight more aggressive. It ramps up RPM a lot quicker. Fantastic. Now, yeah. we program this, so obviously we need to upgrade the clutch. I mean, that's a must. Yeah, doing the clutch is critical because the RPM is at a different profile. It's a higher RPM and the machine makes more power too, so you have to harness the power and clutching is key. Well, this thing's gonna drive great. Go ahead and show us the install. All right. So now you're just putting the weight in there, just in the reverse, the procedure basically of how you're taking it out? Yeah, these are real easy. Each weight has a single pin with a nut on the end that holds them in. It's an eighth inch Allen wrench and a three eighths nut on the end, so uh, they're pretty easy to put in. Okay, yeah, now it's just a matter of reversing the procedure. If you got torque specifications, follow them to a T, that's crucial. If you don't understand, get a service manual. Pretty simple job, easy to do. Cool part is, Terry, this thing's gonna make a massive amount of power. It is. I'm driving. All right, John, we got the clutch upgraded, we got the ECU upgraded, and we are ready to rip. GillimanInnovations.com, they can help you get ready to rip as well. Yep, unfortunately, we're out of time for today. If you got a cool product you want to get on the air, just email Jeff at MastersTV.com. Well, I see some donuts in the future, but stick around. There's more Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat next week. Woo! <laughs> Woo-hoo! <laughs>